Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming back with another TTM video for you guys today. Today is an exciting, exciting, exciting day. Uh, we have quite a few returns, and we got two Hall of Famers for the set. One was a purchase, and one is a TTM. So I'm really working hard on trying to get this 1990 Donruss set going and working our way towards hopefully 50% here soon. Got probably about another 100 and. 40-ish cards to get us to 50% of the set, um, but we're, we're doing what we can. So, hope you guys are all having a fantastic mail day today. Uh, I've already watched some of your guys' videos. I'm going to watch the rest of your guys' videos uh, later tonight, um, but I'm excited to share this with you guys. I also picked up some additional purchases that will be in some uh, other videos uh, coming up as soon as I get them in the mail, um, but... Uh, Let's get to it. So we're going to save the best two for last, of course. But we'll start off with this two of three success in 14 days. It's coming out of South Suburban, Illinois. And it's Mr. Ron Kittle. So we got Mr. Kittle on the 1990 Donruss. I already have him for the set. Um, but what I've been doing is if I've been getting duplicates, I've been, you know, seeing which one is the better looking of the two and, you know, upgrading if it's, uh, if it is an upgrade. So I'll take a look at my other one and see which one's the best. And then, um, I'll have some, uh, trade bait. So the 90 Don Russ and we got him on the 85 tops. So I was definitely glad to add the 85 tops card. Mr. Kittle's a fantastic signer, as a lot of you guys know, um, signs everything that you send him uh, for free except for his tops rookie card uh, and uh, i believe that's 20 bucks or 25 dollars but uh yeah definitely a great person to send out to if you're looking to get some autographs quickly so thank you mr kittle um let's see here i'll just move these down here our next one is a two of two success in 12 days not postmarked at all it's coming from Mr. Rusty Meacham. So we got Mr. Meacham on two 1993 Tops cards. I didn't have anything else of him that I could find at the moment. And so this is what we got. So we got two 93 Tops. Like I said, you see it's signed in black Sharpie. And uh, they turned out fantastic. This top set is really nice uh, with autos on it. So thank you, Mr. Meacham. Two more adding to the collection there. I'm starting to build up some duplicates, which is kind of nice because I, I use a lot of duplicates, like I said, for either trade bait or um, it, it's a good option if you're going to send into uh, shuffle trades or uh, what I like to use the duplicates for too is if um, I'm talking with somebody who say, say they're a huge football autograph person. Um, I could use a lot of the baseball autographs to to uh, not only give them something that they don't have, but also maybe pique their interest into baseball, that sort of thing. So there's a lot of different ways you can use your duplicates. Um, but yeah, so our next one is a 4-4 success in 50 days. It's coming out of Austin, Texas, the Rio Grande District. And it's Mr. Craig McMurtry. So we got Mr. McMurtry on the 18, uh, 1989 Tops. There you go, Flying Dutchman cards. We got him on the 89 Don Russ. And I can't think off the top of my head if I if any of you guys are working on the 89 Don Russ set. Like, it doesn't come to mind that anybody says for the set for 89 Don Russ. So, 89 Don Russ, the 90 Tops, which I really love this set, uh, with or without signature, I just love it. And then, Mr. McMurtry was nice enough to sign our index card. And you guys know how I love my index cards. So, fantastic. Got the index card. Can't complain. Moving on to our next success. It's a one-of-one one success in nine days, coming out of Montgomery, Alabama. We don't get many uh, returns from Alabama. But we got Mr. Brian Meadows. So yeah, Mr. Meadows on this is 95, I think. Yeah, 95 Bowman. He was with the Florida Marlins. 
I don't know how many cards this uh, Mr. Meadows has. I, I don't think he probably had many. I don't really remember too much about him. But again, um, I had a bunch of these 95 Bowman sitting around. I thought it would be kind of cool just to test the waters and see who I can get from the mid-90s set. And he was the one that was a good signer. So got Mr. Meadows back. And as you guys know, all the addresses will be in the description. If you guys are looking to get one of these guys... You don't have to do anything but uh, scroll to the description and use the address. So our next success is a 2 of 3 success in 40 days out of Atlanta Metro. And this one I was excited to get back. Can't believe it took me so long to get him. But it's Mr. Mike Cameron. So we got Mr. Cameron on this beautiful, uh, what is this, 2006 Bowman when he was with the Padres. Came out amazing. You can see how different his signatures look now, how they've changed. And then I just got one of these back um, from Mr. Olerud, but we got the Bowman's Best. Is this 95 Bowman's Best? Let me see here. Let's see if we can get this in. 97. It's 97 Bowman Best. Uh, again, I prepped the car just like I did with the Olerud and just turned out perfect. No smearing, no ink loss, no nothing. It just looks awesome on there. And that was when he was with the White Sox. So, awesome return from Mr. Cameron. Thank you, sir. Now we're getting to the two biggies. The ones that, the ones that I feel are big. Hope you guys do too. So this first one is a one-of-one one success in nine days. It's coming out of Tampa, Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida. Quick, quick return. Uh, but there is a fee, and you'll see it right up there. Oh, yeah! We got back Mr. Carlton Fisk. So, there are huge cards that are in this 1990 Donruss set, and they're big dollar cards. There's uh, quite a few deceased players, some of which are like Tony Gwynn, who are Hall of Famers and expensive. Kirby Puckett. Then you also have like your Barry Bonds and your Ken Griffey Juniors and your Mark McGuire's. And there's just a lot of players that are high dollar players. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to knock out as I go. I'm not trying to save all the high price ones for the end. I'm trying to space it out. And so I had the opportunity to knock this one out and I did. And I'm glad to do it. Came back beautifully he signed it amazingly and uh the next chance i get this is going to go out and be authenticated and encapsulated of course but we got back this carlton fisk and uh another one off the 1990 donruss set so definitely definitely glad to get this one back so let me know what you guys think about that I know you guys know what the cost is, and if you don't, I've already shown it. Um, some would say it's worth it, some would say it's not, but if you're doing the set, you're, you got to do it. So, got Mr. Carlton Fisk right there, and to finish it off, I got this purchase. I got it for $14 shipped to the house. Uh, looked at the autograph. To me, it's dead on. I, I don't really have any concerns, so once I can i'll send out for authentication as well it's another hall of famer another one to knock off the set and it's mr tom glavin <laughs> so like i said i got this 14 dollars um don't think i could have probably gotten it any cheaper um the autograph is really nice it's in a great location so it doesn't take away from him uh, but you can still see it and it's still it still looks like it it belongs so got the tom glavin 90 don russ able to knock that one off the the set checklist and uh in my mind saved quite a bit of money too while doing it so again like the fisk this will get authenticated as soon as i can and uh definitely 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 glad to be able to add two hall of famers so there you guys go. That is the mail for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys saw some stuff you liked. I saw some stuff that you uh, want to try to get yourself. Um, but as always, guys, I hope you have a blessed evening. Until our next video, see ya.